Navigating the financial markets can feel complex. Chart indicators are like a compass and a map for traders. They help you understand the market's direction. They can show you potential opportunities and highlight possible risks. Learning to use these tools is a key skill. We will introduce three important indicators, RSI, MACD, and moving averages. Many traders use these tools for stocks, currencies, and commodities. Understanding them can improve your trading approach. Let's dive in and demystify these essential chart tools. Ready? Let's get started. The Relative Strength Index, or RSI, is a momentum indicator. It measures the speed and change of price movements. Think of it like a speedometer for market prices. The RSI helps traders identify when an asset might be overbought or oversold. This information can be very useful in timing entries and exits. The RSI is shown as an oscillator, a line graph that moves between two extremes. Its value ranges from 0 to 100. Generally, an RSI reading above 70 is considered overbought, suggesting a potential pullback. Conversely, an RSI reading below 30 is often considered oversold, indicating a possible rebound. A primary use of the RSI is to spot potential price reversals. When the RSI is very high it warns that the upward momentum might be fading. When the RSI is very low it signals that selling pressure might be easing. However the RSI has limitations. In a strong trend, the RSI can remain overbought or oversold for extended periods. Therefore RSI signals are more reliable when confirmed by other indicators or chart patterns. It should not be used as a standalone tool for making trading decisions. Understanding these nuances can help you use the RSI more effectively. Let's move on to our next indicator. The Moving Average Convergence Divergence, or MACD, is a popular indicator. It identifies trend direction and strength. The MACD compares two moving averages of an asset's price. It has three components, the MACD line, signal line, and histogram. Crossovers are common signals. A bullish crossover is a buy signal. A bearish crossover is a sell signal. Divergence is another key signal. Understanding these signals aids trading decisions. Let's explore our final indicator. Exploring Moving Averages or MASMA and EMA. A moving average helps to smooth out price action over a period of time. It creates a single, flowing line on the price chart, making it easier to see the underlying trend direction. There are different types of moving averages, with the two most common being the simple moving average, SMA, and the exponential moving average, EMA. The SMA is the easiest to calculate, adding up the closing prices for a certain number of periods and dividing by the number of periods. The EMA gives more weight to recent prices, making it more responsive to new price information. Traders often use EMAs when they want an average that reflects newer market action more closely. Moving averages help identify the general trend. If the price is consistently above AMA, it suggests an uptrend. If below, it suggests a downtrend. MAs can also act as dynamic support or resistance levels. Prices often pause or reverse near significant MAs. Another common use is MA crossovers. For instance, when a shorter-term MA crosses above a longer-term MA, it is often seen as a bullish signal, called a golden cross. The opposite, a death cross, is bearish. Let's see how these indicators work in real-world scenarios. Indicators in action, real-world examples, and past successes. Let's consider a real-world scenario for the RSI. Imagine a popular technology stock with positive developments. The price climbs rapidly, and the RSI might rise above 70, signaling the stock is becoming overbought. Soon after traders might start taking profits, and the price could pull back, illustrating how RSI warned of an overheated market. Now let's look at the MACD in action. Consider a broad market index after a significant correction. Prices begin to stabilize and show signs of recovery. Traders watching the MACD might observe a bullish crossover confirmed by the histogram. This could signal a potential entry point for long positions. Moving averages have also provided famous signals like the Golden Cross. After the sharp market decline in early 2020, a golden cross appeared on many charts, signaling a potential recovery. Combining indicators provides a more comprehensive view of the market. For example, if the RSI shows an overbought condition, and the MACD exhibits bearish divergence, the combination of these signals would provide a stronger case for a potential price reversal. Let's conclude with some final thoughts. Conclusion, your journey with chart indicators. 
we have explored three key technical indicators, RSI, MACED, and moving averages. RSI helps identify overbought or oversold conditions. MACED helps gauge trend momentum and potential reversals. Moving averages smooth price action and define trend direction. These tools assist in managing risk and spotting potential trading opportunities. It is important to maintain a realistic perspective. Indicators are best used as aids to your judgment, not as definitive buy or sell commands. They require careful study and practice. The markets are constantly evolving so your learning process should also be continuous. Start by observing these indicators on historical charts. Many charting platforms offer these tools for free. Try paper trading to practice with virtual money. Apply the RSI, MACD, and MAs to different assets and see how they behave in real-time market conditions. Mastering these technical tools takes time, patience, and discipline. Understanding these indicators can significantly enhance your analytical skills. They provide a valuable framework for navigating the complexities of the financial markets. Good luck on your journey.